Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 66 in chapter 16. In this chapter, we talk about the sound of the sound wave. There, we talk about Doppler's effect. You can see we have the bat, right? This is a wall. And uh, initially, we know the bat, this source is moving at the speed 7 meter per second towards the wall. And also, we know the frequency for the bat is given at zero, and also the speed of the sound waves, 343 meter per second, right? And then you can see the sound wave travels from the bat, hit the wall, and returns to the bat. Now we need to find the frequency the bat received in the reflect, reflected waves. So at the step one, the sound wave travels from the bat to the wall. We can see this is a source moving towards the stationary observer. Do you agree? So we can find the frequency the wall received in this function. This function you can check it in your test book, right? And then this wave will return to the bat. So in this case, we can consider this wave come out from the wall, so wall becomes a source, right? And the bat becomes observer. So this is the moving observer towards the stationary source, agree? And we have the function for this one, for this function, right? And this is a frequency generated by the source, the wall, this one. And this is a frequency the bat received, and then times this term, and then input the, this term inside, and get it there, right? And then in this function, we input all the known quantities, get the final answer there. We can see the frequency increased by, increased compared to the origin bat frequency, right? Thank you.